In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your GameCube and Wii games using a modified Wii. If you own a large collection of physical GameCube and Wii games, chances are you are interested in preserving them. Backing up your owned discs allow you to easily use them on USB loaders on the Wii, emulation, or any other various thing you might want to use them for. And thankfully the process to getting them backed up is relatively simple, but it does require the use of a modified Wii. But let's go ahead and get started. Now as previously stated, this guide does require you to have a modified Wii with which to dump your GameCube and Wii games. That being said, modifying a Wii is one of the simplest homebrew mods imaginable. Now I'm not going to cover how to mod your Wii, but I will post a link to the Wii guide here and it has all the different exploits available to you. So just follow the instructions in this guide and you will have a homebrew Wii and all the benefits that come with it. Now do be aware if you're trying to do this on a Wii U, you will be able to back up your Wii games, but not GameCube games. The Wii U does not accept physical GameCube discs. But once you have your Wii soft modded, we need to get a copy of Clean Rip if your install did not already come with one. There will be a link in the description below on how to download Clean Rip, but basically just go ahead and download the zip for it. But once you have Clean Rip downloaded, just get it extracted. And inside the folder, you'll see a number of things. So, first up, we have the GameCube version of Clean Rip. So, if you have a modified GameCube and want to use it to dump games, you can do so by putting this onto an SD Gecko or SD to SP2. It is slower than dumping games through the Wii but it is an option for those of you that want to do it on GameCube. But for today's demonstration purposes, we are looking at the Wii version in particular. So you'll see that there is an apps folder here and inside a clean rip folder. And this is aligned with how Wii's read homebrew apps. So take the SD card out of your modified Wii, put it into your PC, and you'll see that there is an apps folder here too. So you can just drag the apps folder from here right over to your Wii's SD card and it will get everything placed accordingly. And once that's set, we can just go ahead and close out of everything on the PC side, put the SD card back in our Wii, and get it booted up. So get your SD card put back into your Wii. You'll see the little SD card icon over here turn blue. And you can preemptively put in a GameCube or Wii disc if you so choose, but just get booted up into the homebrew channel. Find clean rip and tell it to load. Now. CleanRip can run either through USB or the front SD card slot. It is your choice which you would rather use. USB is technically a little bit faster, but again, your choice on which one you'd rather use. And then when you first start it up, you can enable check some calculations, ensure you have a better rip. Guarantees accuracy, but does add more time to your dumps. So personal preference there. I'm going to go ahead and enable mine. And again, like I was saying, you could use USB or the front SD card slot. So just go ahead and pick whichever one you'd like. I'm going to choose the front SD card slot just because it's easier for me to get to than my USB drive. And then if you have your Wii connected to the internet, you can have it download the redump.org dat files to ensure that your rips are of good quality. And then you'll get to a prompt that asks you to insert a GameCube or Wii disc. So just press A, it will boot up the disc. It will ask you if it's an unlicensed Detail disc, so if it is, hit yes, if it's not, hit no. And then you can have all your settings saved for the next time you use it. But then just sit back and let it do its thing. It takes about 10 minutes for a GameCube game, a little bit longer for Wii games. So just sit back and let it do its thing. And once the copy is completed, you will see the verification if you have that option turned on, and you can press A to continue on. And if you want to dump more discs at this time, you can press A to continue. And now you're free to eject the disc that's currently in the drive and load in another. But now just a quick example of dumping a game through USB. When you get to the select device type option, just click A on USB and then tell it which file system you have your hard drive formatted in. NTFS is preferred as it will let you rip your games as a single file instead of having to split them up into chunks like fat. So I have mine as NTFS. And if your hard drive is being detected properly, it'll say one NTFS volume mounted or FAT32 volume mounted. Do be aware that hard drive compatibility with CleanRip can be a little hit and miss. 
so you might need to try multiple devices before you can get it to work. But if you haven't been using USB up to this point, you can re-download the DAT files for verification. And then when you get to the insert GC slash Wii DVD disc page, just press A to begin the initialization and dumping of the game. And it will ask you some info about your Wii disc, so you can choose whether it's a dual layer game or not. So some examples of dual layer games, Super Smash Bros. Brawl or Metroid Prime Trilogy. But most games are not dual layer, so if you need help with that one, use Google to figure out what size your disc is. Now chunk size, if you're using an NTFS drive, you can set this to max, that way you just get a single file rip. And then new device per chunk, just turn that off. And then it will do its thing and just be patient with it while it does. And after the copying is completed on USB, you'll see if it's verified in the redump.org dat file or not. And then you can choose whether or not you want to dump more disks or not. But now back over on your computer, you can take out that front SD card or USB device that you were using to dump these games plug it into the computer and access them. So I already copied over Twilight Princess from my USB drive. So here is my copy of Rogue Squadron 2 that I just dumped um, to the front SD card slot. So I'm just gonna copy it over now as well. But there we go, once you finish copying it over, you could delete it from the source drive if you so choose. But there we go, two backed up games, one for GameCube, one for Wii. Now you can rename these whatever you want convert them to different file formats if you so choose, but you can access the dump text info, you can get the names of the games easily to put into the uh, name field there if you so choose. And then you can verify that they work by loading them up within Dolphin. So there we go, Rogue Squadron 2 is loading up. And then for Twilight Princess, there we go. But that is the process to getting your Wii games and GameCube games backed up for use in your personal projects. As always, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. But now if you could all do me a couple huge favors here at the end of the video, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like or dislike button depending on how much you liked this video. Also hit those sub and notification bells so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Helps us keep the place going and bringing this content to you. If you'd like to further help support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping us going and further bringing content to you. Big thank you to all of our current backers for keeping us going this long and just being amazing. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.